always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. I keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning. Okay, I need to get dressed now. I don't think I'll be moshing today. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back. Somehow. Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. I love this song. So many men stronger than me. <sighs> At least we haven't been identified yet. But me, I'm not a gamble. You can count on me to split the love I sell you in the evening by the morning. Well, thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious. And scary. Chloe seems more relaxed now that she has that money from the handicapped fund. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly, we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. Oh, well, stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. 
I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. If you want, go ahead and check out the closet for some fresh clothes. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl-on-girl -girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding.
Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Or do they? I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. David, this is Officer Korn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Wowzer, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Who drinks beer this early around here? I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Oh, bacon. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? What? <laughs> No way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. I just wish you could have stopped Chloe from getting busted by David for that joint. I know, but it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me, what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. 
only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens and a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. eggs and bacon to my belly. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Thing to see here. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination that might be a useful password. Nothing in it.
Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Worst hacker ever. Oh, shit balls. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard.
I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything! There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake.
Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one.